Hello and welcome. Let's talk about peptic ulcer disease or PUD for surgery. So, what does it mean by peptic ulcer? Peptic ulcers are chronic, most often solitary lesions that occur in any portion of the gastrointestinal tract exposed to excessive action of epicid peptic juices. Sites First part of the duodenum, stomach along the lesser curvature, in the lower esophagus, gastrojejunostomy stoma, and mucus diverticulum. Causes of peptic ulcer, most common due to helicobacter pylori and CID, smoking, alcohol, severe physiological stress, and endocrine factors like Zollinger Ellison syndrome, multiple adenoma syndrome, and hyperparathyroidism. About PUD, the history includes age, most common in middle age group, and sex is the male to female ratio age 2 to 1. Clinical features include pain which is described as knowing, burning intermittent pain in epigastrium mirror to the back and eating may sometimes relieve the discomfort. The periodicity includes symptoms may disappear for weeks or months and they may return again which may be related to spontaneous healing and vomiting, alteration in weight and bleeding may occur. Investigation This includes gastroduronoscopy which is the investigation of choice, barium meal x-ray, Ultrasound rapid to rule out other diseases and to confirm associated diseases and estimation of the serum gastric level, gastrin level and serum calcium level. Differential diagnosis includes hiatus hernia, chronic cholecystitis, chronic pancreatitis, reflux esophagitis, dyspepsia and carcinoma of the stomach. Treatment The general measures include nothing by mouth in acute condition, followed by normal regular diet, pandemic nutrition in acute condition, avoiding cigarette smoking and the agents which provokes, provoke symptoms should be avoided like alcohol and SAID, corticosteroid and avoidance of stress and anxiety. Medical treatment includes S2 receptor antagonist like renantidine, omeprazole, pantoprazole, etc. Eradication therapy like triple drug therapy can be tried. Surgical treatment includes operation for duodenal ulceration like bilirubin 2 gastrectomy, gastrojejunostomy, truncal vagotomy and drainage, highly selective vagotomy, truncal vagotomy and antrectomy, highly selective vagotomy with Pyloroplasty and the operations for gastric ulcer include by Bilroth 1 gastrectomy. Complications of peptic ulcer disease include perforation, bleeding, pyloric stenosis, tip deformity, hourglass contracture, penetration into surrounding viscera, and malignant transformation. Complications of gastric ulcer includes hourglass contracture, tip deformity, perforation, bleeding, penetration, and malignation. Complications of duodenal ulcer includes pyloric stenosis, bleeding, perforation, anterior ulcer which may perforate residual abscess and penetration to pancreas. Now about hourglass contracture. It occurs excessively women due to psychiatrical contracture of the lesser curvature. Here stomach is divided into two compartments. The clinical features include loss of periodicity, persistent pain, vomiting, loss of appetite and weight. And the diagnosis is by barium meal which shows only filling in the proximal stomach or double pouch stomach may be seen. Gastros gastroscopy can be tried. The treatment is the partial gastrectomy or bilirubin 2 and anastomosis. Now, tip for deformity. Tip for deformity is due to cicatrization and shortening of the lesser curvature, which presents with features of the pyloric stenosis, and the treatment is partial gastrectomy with bilirubin 1 and anastomosis. Indications of surgical treatment for gastric and duodenal ulcer includes in case of emergency like perforation and hemorrhage, or inductive uh, surgery can be done in case of uncomplicated ulcer not responding to drug therapy of 8 to 12 weeks or in case of repeated recurrences. Now differences between gastric ulcer and duodenal ulcer. Gastric ulcer shows pain after food intake while it is before food intake in duodenal ulcer. Pain is less common in gastric ulcer while it is more common in duodenal ulcer. Relieving factor is vomiting in gastric ulcer while eating is the relieving factor in duodenal ulcer. The facilitating factors is, uh, are the eating in gastric ulcer while missing a meal, anxiety and stress are in case of duodenal ulcer. The duration of attack is one few weeks in, weeks in gastric ulcer and month or two in duodenal ulcer. Weight loss is seen in gastric ulcer while weight gain is seen in duodenal ulcer. Hematomacy is more common in gastric ulcers. Malena is more common in duodenal and gastric ulcer is common in both sex while duodenal ulcer is common in male. Complication of peptic ulcer surgery includes recurrent ulceration, monostomach syndrome, bile vomiting, early and late dumping syndrome, post bagotomy, malignant transformation and others. About S. pylori. S. pylori is a gram negative bacillus. It transfers by person to person contact by a gastric refluxate or vomit. Habitats include gastric type epithelium, duodenum, patches of gastric metaplasia. And diseases caused by S. pylori are gastritis, duodenal ulcer, gastric ulcer, and gastric cancer. 
mechanism of disease process is given here. The investigations are non-invasive and invasive serology, urea bed test, fecal antigen test, histology, rapid urea test, microbiological culture can be done. Treatment or eradication is the first line therapy and second line therapy. First line therapy is for seven days omeprazole and two of the following antibiotics like erythromycin, amogicillin and metronidazole. Second line therapy includes four drugs, omeprazole, bismuth, metronidazole and tetracycline given for 14 days. End of the topic.